Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Sunday, February 11th, 2024. And essentially, we start my third consecutive week of nothing but horrors. I think the last one I missed was January 26th, and that was only because I was in surgery. But be that as it may, let's get going. I've got nines as a repeat digit, my first three rows. They're in rows one and three. I can place them in box one and row two. In the middle three rows, I have two eights and a third eight looking into box six, so I can place the eight. Uh, three, two, nine, five, four, six. I think I'm done with the middle three rows. The bottom three rows, nine, six, five, three, eight, seven, one. Yeah, I'm definitely done. Okay, what about my columns? Three, four, nine, two, eight, five, seven. So the left third, I have nothing. The middle third, okay. Uh, three, six, nine, two, seven, four, eight, three. Okay, I can place a three in column five, and I can place a six in column six. And there's actually three sixes looking into box eight, so I can place the six which in turn will place the 6 in row 8. As well as the, the 8 in column 8, based on where the 8 is in columns 7 and 9. Uh, 5 and 9 I can also place, but not quite as a hidden pair. Well, 9 is actually placed in box 9, based on three nines looking into it. This one, this one, and that one. The fives are in one of the corners, the right corners of box nine specifically, and that's all we get. Okay, what else can I do here? Box two looks interesting for odd and even logic purposes. Three, seven, and nine are in there. That means one and five are the only odd digits left. Neither of those can be five. So five is restricted to one of two spots. That in turn will place a 5 in one of two spots. Uh, whoops. Not here. Up here. In row 1. And that gives 3, 5, 7, 9 in row 1. It means this and this are the only spaces for 1. Okay, 4... Looks mildly interesting. Two, six, and eight are already placed, but four can be in any of three spots. And then we'll put in one, three, five, seven, nine and see what we get. Uh, these aren't three. This isn't nine. That's not five. This cell isn't 5 or 9. Okay, 4 definitely cannot go here or here, so these three cells that are unfilled are nothing but odd digits. Neither of those are 7. This isn't 9, or 3 actually. Neither of these are seven. That's not nine, that's not three. Okay, I've got nine in one of two spaces. Interesting. This one's down to one and five explicitly. Maybe I should have looked at column six first, because that has five given five digits in it. 159 along with 2, which hasn't been placed yet. Well, those can't be 2, and this can't be 2 because of that. What does 2 go in the column? There's only one space for it. And now, this 2, this 2, and this 2 combine to force that cell to be a 2. So 2 is placed in box 2. That gives me 6 digits. In box 2, I'm missing 1, 5, and 8. This sees 8, so this is 1 or 5, and that makes this cell a 9, because of the 1-5 pair that just got formed. 
So that cell's not 9. Ah, whoops. Yeah. The only thing that removes... The only thing that removes this is a... Well, we'll see if that makes the blooper real, shall we? Anyway, okay, those... Alright, nine's placed. Anyway, where were we? One, five, and eight. Uh, this isn't five. So this is one or eight, but this can be any of them. And that's a triple that I'm going to go ahead and mark. Okay, I'll look at row 6 next. Uh, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need 1, 2, 3, and 5. Neither of those two can be 3, so this is 1, 2, or 5, except that's not 2 and that's not 5. This is 1, 2, or 3 because it can't be 5. How? 5 is in two spaces in the row, as is 2. One is not. This isn't quite a hidden quadruple, but it's pretty darn close to one. Okay, what about column seven or eight? In column seven, I have one, five, eight, nine. Already placed. I need two, three, four, six, seven. Well, this one sees 2. This one sees 3, 6, and 7. That one sees 2 and 3 in its row, 7 in its box. That just gets rid of 7. That gets rid of 2 and 6. Okay, that was not helpful. 5, 6, 7, 9 in column 8. It's sort of two and four in its row. That's no two. That's no two, three, or eight. That's no one. Okay, neither of these are one or eight. And that one's not three. And annoyingly, one could still be there. Well, let's see. I put two there. Unfortunately, because I don't know where exactly 2 goes in column 7, because I haven't restricted it to one single box, I can't yet place a 2 in column 9. I wish I could, but I can't quite do that. Okay, this cell is the only one that's not filled in box 6. 5, 7, 8, 9 says 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 are still possible, and indeed that could be any of them. Okay, these are not 1, 6, 8, or 9. That's not 2, and that's not 7. These are strictly not 5, 8, or 9. Yep, uh, five and one of those two, I have nothing else to go on. Hmm. Alright, what about row eight, which cannot be three, five, eight, or nine? Alright. Those aren't seven. These aren't two or six. He's four in its column, two in its column. Yep. Yep, seven's one of those, and one of those. Ah, uh, where's that? 
pesky four there. Let's see, these are not one, six, or seven. Okay. Oh, and they both see two, three. And it's box. That one sees nine in its column. These. By row and box logic are not two, three, six, or nine. But anything else is possible. Those are not two, five, six, seven, nine. Adam gets rid of an eight. These aren't one, five, six, seven, nine. Eight turns a corner. It has too many options. Oh, four can be in three spots. As can three. One. Well, there has to be something else I can see. Why isn't there? This cell is not two, three, four, eight, nine. Unfortunately, anything else is possible. See these cells. Get out three, six, seven, nine by row logic, two by box logic. That's not four, that's not five or eight. Uh, oh, one, four, two, four, and one, two, four. That's actually a hidden triple. And the reason is. Five and eight can only go in these two cells in this row. So those are five eight. That's not going to help me with much of anything else. Particularly really since these three only get rid of two, four, and five. By row logic, and two is also in the box. And this sees three and nine, and nothing else. That sees nothing else. That sees seven and eight. But five eight pair here says these can't be eight. And these see two, five, eight, nine. That gets rid of three and four. Well, there's two thirds of a one six seven. Interesting. That gets rid of seven. Okay, the only cells that haven't been filled in are these three. These are not three, four, five, eight. Uh, based on the row in the box intersecting. That's not nine, that's not two, that's not seven. Well, that's interesting. Column one looks like the breakthrough. Where does five go? That's, this is the only cell for five, isn't it? Five eight pair means those can't be five. This isn't five by given. That's not five by given, and that's not five by given because it's in the box. Five in column one goes to the very top left. So those are an eight. And now the only cell for eight is down here in column one. So these are an eight. Now, 
this isn't 9 by box. This could be 9. This isn't 9 by Gibbons. These aren't 9 by placement in the box. 9 and row 9 only goes there. Which gets rid of absolutely nothing else. Lovely. Well, if I look by column, 136 all across the region has to 79. Uh, 5 doesn't. Five is in one of two spots. This can't be four by given. These aren't four by box, so four must go in one of these three, and therefore that cell is not four. Four is definitely in one of those two. logic? I might. Now, I've got pairs here, but absolutely none of them interact with each other, which is mildly irritating. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out what else do I do. Uh, eight's not restricted to any at all, is it? Yeah, I've got one, two, one, three, one, four. That's just bizarre. Six and nine both cross a region. See, seven here and not. No, seven there means these can't be seven, can they? Let's see, these are six, nothing else is six. These are four, nothing else is four. These are five, and nothing else is five. These are three, with nothing else is three. Five and seven are strictly these two. Unfortunately, this doesn't restrict this one. If I made it only five or seven, does not make three or four a hidden pair in that box. Uh, eight's there, but that tells me nothing useful at all whatsoever. This hasn't resolved at all since I filled it in ages ago. Yeah, 
Two's one of these two, but we knew that already. Three could be in one of the two spots. Now three, unfortunately, because it can be in three spots, I can't get rid of three from any of these. do it there. Three of these fives means nothing else or five, right? No, nine is definitely there. Six, seven, I have way too many possibilities in box four. This one isn't even close to being restricted. Yeah, there's a trick I'm missing somewhere, and I may have obfuscated the logic. A little bit, by too many. No, candidates for too many cells. Yeah, there, there's something I'm missing. I don't know what I'm missing. This seems right. No, eight, unfortunately, uh, is in one of two spots. Grr. Yeah, two, six is definitely there. Oh, wait a minute. I've been looking at my rows and columns for ages. If I start looking at my boxes, that might tell me something. These can't be two because of this. This two looks oh ah. This two in row seven looks over. This two looks down. The only place for two in box seven is right here. So that's two. This is forced to be a six because it's the only place for six. That makes that four. So those aren't four, and these aren't four either. That makes this a one-seven pair, which means those aren't one. And now I've got another triple here. This is four, five, eight. Uh, four in the box means that's not four. Six means these aren't six. Uh, who's that? Oh, well, that's not two, so that gives me one six seven strictly. Yeah, this isn't quite a one three. Well, this is sort of a one three four triple. Even though I haven't rolled three out of any of these boxes yet. Those cells in box seven, excuse me. Um, anyway, this four comes up, that's one. 
So those are one because it's in the box. One is gonna make that five. That one, that unwinds a triple in box two. That may have been what I was missing because the rest of this is collapsing relatively easily. This eight means this is an eight, therefore that must be eight. Okay, this is now a four five pair within column five. So that cell's not five, that cell's not four. That five means this cell isn't five. That one is. That one sees one and five, that must be seven. So four, six, these aren't six. Seven means those aren't seven. And that's not four. Oh, look, there's another one seven in pair that's intersecting. Interesting. Okay, that's not one. That's not one. It's not six by column logic. That's not one or four. That's not one. Oh, this eight means that's not eight. Therefore, I know where eight goes in box three. This sees one and eight. Therefore, that must be three. And now I do two to complete the column. That leaves me a three, five, seven triple that's left. Uh, that's not three. Uh, these aren't three because it's in the row, and that's not seven. Okay, I now have a 1-9 pair in box 2, therefore that's not 1. 3-4 pair here reduces this to not 3, therefore that must be 1, so that's 2. 1 or 2, that's not 1. 6-9 here means this isn't 6, this is down to 3 or 4, but 1 means this must be 4, therefore that must be 3. Four is gonna make that two, that one. This isn't one. Two in row six makes that three. So five, seven, three. Uh, this sees two and three in its columns. So four, seven makes that six, that four, that two, and the right third is done, and this is collapsing. right before my eyes. Yeah, I missed for ages that there was only one place for two in box seven. If I'd seen that a lot sooner. I'd have gotten this in maybe under 20 minutes, but I'll still take it.